I'd like to show you how we treat shoulder restrictions by combining glenohumeral joint mobility exercises with treatment. So we've got Mickey here helping out and we're going to have her um, demonstrate the exercise. So to start, we'll show you how to mobilize the anterior part of the shoulder. So we'll just have you turn here. As you can see, so Mickey's reaching behind, pulling through with the arm. And it's going to be just nice slow motions back and forth. So this is quite dynamic and we're actually affecting the front of the shoulder, the anterior part. Now we'll have Mickey turn here and kind of face the wall, there you go. So this next one is to help mobilize the lateral, the side part of the shoulder. So you're gonna anchor yourself by grabbing the stool and then slowly tilting the head the opposite direction while you anchor down here. So you're getting a nice pull. And you're gonna kind of come back and forth. So releasing tension, increasing tension. Once again, a nice mobility exercise. Now we're gonna have you face the camera. So this next one is actually for the back part of the shoulder, the posterior aspect, but to do it, you're gonna reach across diagonally in the front. There you go, yeah. And so she's using that arm to pull back and forth, nice mobility exercise. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we're gonna combine treatment while Mickey's performing the exercise. So let's have you uh, face that way again. So we're gonna start on the anterior. So you're reaching behind. What I'm gonna do is using my hands, I'm gonna get right on the front of the glenohumeral joint here and have you perform. And I'm trying to get right underneath all the bony structures and really open up that joint space. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. yeah. And what you can do is you can go with the tension, but you can also reverse your contact and work against the fibers as well. Can you feel the difference? Yeah. yeah. And your goal is to get right under there and open the area up. So now we're gonna move to the side. So this is the one where you anchor yourself to the stool and you're gonna be moving your head laterally. And what I'm going to do is really try to get underneath the acromion here, just underneath the lip of the bone, and really try to open up that glenohumeral joint. Can you feel that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's just do one more. And this time I'm actually going to reverse direction, just going with what I feel in terms of restriction. And that's a good point to make, is no two patients are alike, so you really have to feel and assess and figure out what's going on in each individual. Now we're going to reach uh, forward, going across, and we're going to work the back of the glenohumeral joint. So once again, getting underneath the bone. Good. Can you feel that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Does it feel like I'm getting in there and opening it up? Yeah. Yeah, and you can really feel the, the joint opening up as you do this. Great. And relax. So you can do this with your hands, as I'm doing, but there's also ways to get in here with tools, such as uh, soft tissue uh, tools, whether it's grafts or factor tools. It doesn't really matter. Some people will claim that their instrument is better than someone else's, but ultimately it comes down to how you're using that tool and how effective you are in terms of what you're seeing and what you're trying to change. So everything seems to work, whether it's a grassing tool, a yak horn, your hands, it doesn't really matter as long as you're making positive changes for your patients.